When I heard the Pico Cow could run an NES emulator, I was excited to relive the 8-bit glory days. While the device itself wasn't marketed as a gaming machine, the potential for a pocket NES was a huge draw. However, the reality of this specific project was a bit of a letdown. My dream of a portable NES console hit a snag right away. The emulator comes with just one preloaded game, a simple chess title. That's the entire library you get out of the box. To add more games, it's illegal to download unauthorized copies. Unless you legally own the physical cartridges and have the specific equipment to dump them into ROM files, you're pretty much out of luck. And that's the real deal breaker. Since I don't have access to authorized game files, I'm stuck. This means the only game I can actually play is chess. On a device that had the potential for countless classical adventures, I'm just playing chess. So who is this for? If you're a retro gamer drawn to the PicoCalc because of this emulator project, you might be disappointed. You're not getting a library of classics, you're getting a single, simple chess game. The emulator isn't a core feature, and it feels more like a proof of concept that was never fully developed. This is a classic case of managing expectations. The PicoCalc NES emulator project promises a retro game paradise, but leaves you legally stranded with a single chess game. It's something to keep in mind before you buy. Well, what are your thoughts on the PicoCalc NES emulator project? Was I hoping for too much? Was I too harsh? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to see more deep dives into the PicoCalc, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next one. I'm Jay Blanked. Until next time, peace.